As another ski season comes to an end, many are looking back on what was one of the strangest years to date. A lot of people saw one of the shortest seasons or the most variable seasons, and it was, you know, coast to coast. Resorts across the south coast were forced to push back opening and even shut down for parts of the winter as BC saw one of their lowest snowpacks on record. And now a new study showing the financial impacts of climate change on the ski industry. And we looked at, well, what if climate change hadn't happened? Um, what if we still had the climate in the sort of 1950s and 60s before the warming trend really started in the 70s? I'm just taking two factors, so shorter ski seasons, less ski revenues from, from skier visits, um, but also higher operating costs from snowmaking cost the industry about, on average, about $250 million a year over the last 20 years, so just over $5 billion. The report took a look at operations at 226 ski areas across the U.S., where there is more data available, showing that the ski season from 2000 to 2019 was shortened by five to seven days. And researchers believe it's a similar story here in Canada as well. Dan Scott adds that the actual revenue loss is likely higher due to other factors that they weren't able to calculate. We weren't able to include um, sort of indirect skier spending. So you travel to another town, you spent additional dollars in the economy of that community. And he adds that revenue loss is only going to get worse in the future. Those impacts that are roughly $250 million a year go up to every, anywhere between about 650 to just over a billion dollars a year. The exact financial impacts will depend on if we go down a road of low or high emissions, but the research suggests we'll be losing anywhere between 14 to 66 days a season by 2050, and that will have major impacts on ski resorts. Some resorts won't survive the changing conditions, while others that are higher elevation and further north might actually benefit because there'll be fewer skiable terrain. But one thing's for sure, the ski industry that we know today is changing rapidly.